seeks to specialise in residential and commercial space. Um, we are unashamedly uh, contemporary architects, um, working with um, exciting clients to create bespoke, uh, interesting spaces. Uh, bringing daylights into our work is essential to make the layouts work. Uh, specifically with residential schemes, um, we are living in denser and denser um, uh, accommodation, which means we often have narrower and narrower um, layouts. So by working with um, natural lights, we can actually have deeper plan arrangements that can actually work with uh, our, the desire for open space modern living. I, I think um, our clients completely understand that natural daylight is essential to making um, homely, um, workable space. Um, the, the well-being of the user, the, um, the, the, the moving away from artificial lighting, um, I, I think it's essential and, and is one of the first things that our clients are asking for. Light from above or, or roof lights uh, allow us to create designs that we wouldn't be able to do. So just relying on um, uh, vertical facade windows or, or patio doors um, because they do allow for that deeper plan arrangement. Um, I think roof lights have evolved with um, people looking for larger open plan kitchen diner snug spaces that all work around um, in, in harmony with each other. So. Without top light, those spaces would become dark and pokey and, in my opinion, wouldn't work. So the evolution of the roof lights has allowed us to create these new sort of living spaces for modern living. Bespoke roof lights allow architects much more flexibility in how they design the space. It allows for um, um, more uh, intricate uh, sizes, but more importantly, larger roof lights that we can then align with the restrictions of the layout or more importantly, the, the, the context of the actual uh, existing building. We, we use bespoke roof lights to enhance our designs by lining through with the internal features. So for example, where we have kitchen units, we will tie that through with the very edge of the roof light, which is frameless which then creates a uh, beautiful light wash that comes down onto the units and then the actual work surface. You can't do that with a standard product because it's the, down to the requirements of the actual bespoke design as well. Bringing the outside in to the space is essential for a successful scheme. Um, that the well-being of the users is always dramatically increased when you have that connection. Um, and normally that's one of the most important aspects on a client's brief. How, how important is a roof light? On certain projects, the roof light is, is the raison d'etre of that scheme. It is the, the essential element that allows that scheme to work. Then moving forward, the, the, the beauty of roof lights over, say, patio doors is that due to um, our fantastic weather in this country, the way the shadows come through, through clouds, where it's um, a dappled light, is constantly changing the look and feel of these spaces, which adds that greater dynamic, which is, is slightly serendipitous, but um, there's, there's a beauty to that, um, that feeling. Bespoke roof lights do give architects flexibility because we can work to pretty much any size. So the big difference um, in modern roof lights now is that they are seen as frameless. So then working with any size, we can actually make it feel like there almost isn't a roof light there because you're not seeing the internal frame. By working with um, almost any size now in the space, we're effectively hiding the roof light, but at the same time making it the biggest feature of the room. We convince clients to go with a bespoke uh, roof light um, because it will often become one of the most essential features of the space. And just that little extra cost to have a bespoke design, I'm certain will one, 
hugely increase the um, end user's um, perception and enjoyment of the space. But secondly, that design feature will almost certainly add greater economic value to the spaces that we have just then created. For, for me, bespoke roof lights have allowed my firm, 62 Architects, to create designs that fully integrate the internal layout with the um, top-down light. Whereas before, roof lights were often just pepper-potted into a space, a standard product. We can actually now holistically look at the whole space working as one. And that's where I believe good architects can really work with this product.